awkward enough, we have like our rib cage and our pelvis. If we have our rib cage and pelvis, our legs are like this and they come downwards and our arms come down like this. Like we have our stuff coming out of the side, so like out of our, and they pop downwards, right? They're able to fit, we're able to move them back and forth, right? With lizards, everything, if they have their rib cage here, but really it's just one long spine. Sometimes they have rib cages, but um, all of their limbs come out the sides like this, right? So rather with, compared to us, all of theirs come straight out of the stem. So they're constantly walking like this, right? So it's no different from the, with the axolotl. The axolotl, right? big flat kind of head tube for a body and then its limbs come out the sides like this and if you're ever wondering how to draw a salamander or a lizard or something like that there you go you've got that too and they've just got their little thingies on the side